right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. And today I'm going to be doing a response video to Jade, who just recently passed 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. And I got my dog Sugar here, because she won't leave me alone to uh, record the video, so I decided I'll just do it on my cell phone. So that's why I'm rocking the MySpace angles, so my neck boop don't stick out too much, you know, like... <laughs> so anyway, um, today, like I said, it's going to be... Uh, we're going to be doing a response video to Jade, who just passed 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. And uh, for those who don't know who she is, um, she is a 17-year-old entrepreneur. She does brand consulting for Instagram and YouTube, and she has a whole bunch of great videos on that. So definitely, I want you guys to check her out. Uh, obviously, link to her channel and all that kind of stuff is going to be in the description. I'm going to pin something in the comments, too. Man, shit, are you really shedding, dude? <laughs> Maybe that's why she don't want to leave me alone. Anyway, um, aw, what you think about? What you doing, pup? There she is. <laughs> she just wants to play. But anyway, um, <laughs> in Jade's uh, 100,000 subscriber milestone video, she asked her subscribers to do a, a video response to it, ask, answering the question, um, aside from followers, why do you do YouTube? So. I thought I'd do that today, or at least try to. Sugar wants to keep playing around. <laughs> In any event, um, this is a little bit of context on me. If you guys haven't watched my stuff before, um, I've been doing YouTube since 2006. I've been on the platform since 2006, but I've been making content on a regular basis since around 2008. We're celebrating 10 years of actually making stuff uh, next month. And I uh, bought my uh, first camera because <laughs> back in the uh, in the mid 2000s when YouTube first started up, um, didn't have cameras on cell phones like you do today, like what I'm recording on right now. Um, you had to go out and get your own camera and make stuff, you know. And even the cameras that were on cell phones, uh, usually cell phones were really expensive, out way outside of my price range, and the quality on them wasn't really all that good to begin with. So kind of had to make do with what you had, so it actually made more sense to just buy a dedicated camera, a lot, lot less expensive too. So in any event, um, when I first started off doing YouTube, um, I did it to connect with people. Um, I noticed um, for a lot of uh, people that I'd watch on YouTube, I felt like a real connection with them. So. Some of the first people that I watched, um, obviously a lot of the OG YouTubers, you know, you had your your Charles Trippies, your Shea Carls, um, Jenna Marbles, Lisa Nova, uh, Philip DeFranco back when he was known as SXE Phil. Um, but for me specifically, I also liked the uh, burgeoning Japan vlogger scene, also known as J-vlogging scene, uh, back in the early days. So I'd watch guys like Tokyo Kuni, uh, the late Roger Swan, uh, Hiko Simon, bring in Kurt Bell, also known as Softy Papa, um, just too many more to list. Um, and the numbers keep, keep growing every day, so really excited about that. Um, but, you know, just watching their videos, they usually upload about weekly, which is, you know, kind of the schedule back then. Um, I, I felt like a real connection to them as people, and it really got me inspired to make my own videos because originally I wanted to make videos like them you know go out to Japan and make my own J vlogs but uh, I didn't have the money to, uh, to go out to Japan or anything like that so um, I remember either getting a message or a comment I think it was a message from uh, Kurt Bell Softy Papa saying you know why don't you just show people around your hometown you know I've, I've never been to Ohio before so you know, what you may think is completely mundane may be totally interesting to somebody else who's never been there before. So I was thinking, all right, let's, uh, let's try it out. So I, you know, filmed some local landmarks and stuff in my hometown and in surrounding areas. And I uh, really liked it, really enjoyed it. And then, uh, you know, around the late 2000s, early 2010s, uh, the American recession happened and I wasn't able to get work doing anything. I couldn't even get a job at McDonald's. It was that bad. Uh, so push came to shove and I eventually decided to join the U.S. Navy. Um, 
as a sonar technician aboard surface ships, so STG for those in the know was my rate. Uh, so I did that from 2010 to 2015. I uh, was stationed mostly in San Diego for about three years. Um, going to school as well as uh, being stationed on board USS Kurtz, FFG 38, which is uh, no longer active anymore. I was on the decommissioning crew, so that was pretty cool. Um, and then from there, I went out to USS Lassen DDG-82, which at the time was stationed out in Yokosuka, Japan, which is about uh, maybe an hour and a half, two hours south of Tokyo, and about an hour, maybe 45 minutes south of Yokohama as well, just to give you guys a little bit of context of the area that I was in. I got out in a less than ideal manner. Uh, back then, you could get discharged for uh, not fulfilling uh, weight requ requirements in the military. Uh, they since changed that to where you still stay in, but you just get like a really bad evaluation for it. But back then, you you know, they could discharge you for it, so that's what they did with me. Uh, still got out honorably though, still considered an honorable discharge, so kind of was what it was, but uh, you know, I was kind of glad because I was in kind of a bad mental state at that point. That's why I gained so much weight. You know, I just felt very depressed and would drink a lot and just eat a lot of bad food that wasn't good for me. And I just felt completely hopeless in my situation. So, that's what I, it is what it is. What happened is what happened. Um, I'm not, you know, angry about it at all. In fact, I see it more as a good thing. But, um, in any event, after 2015 when I got out, uh, I decided to go back to college beginning of 2016. Um, had a little bit of a rough start, um, especially since I hadn't been to college at that point in almost a decade. Um, didn't have that student mindset. And plus, um, I had a lot of emotional baggage to unpack after I got out of the military. Because, you know, when you're in the military, especially being stationed overseas, um, you don't really have time to, you know, work on what's in here. You know, you just kind of in the here and now, you know. You don't really have enough time to focus on yourself, I feel. Um, so when I got out and was in college, I had more than enough free time to focus on that stuff, and I realized, you know what? I'm not a very happy person. And there was reasons why I was let go from the military, aside from just being fat. And it was really hard for me to deal with all that, and. You know, I started developing anxiety and go, going through depressive episodes and, you know, periods where I wouldn't even leave my apartment. I would just be so scared to even leave my apartment to go to school or do anything. And it was really rough on me. And my grades suffered because of it. Um, but during that time, I also uh, picked up uh, doing some freelance video editing gigs. Um, my friend Sam, you may know him as TKO Sam online, um, his hard drive had crashed and he was needing somebody to help him out with his videos because at that point he was just start starting his YouTube channel back up again and he was doing daily content. So his hard drive crashing meant that he couldn't you know, make videos on a regular basis anymore. Um, until he got it fixed. So I offered to um, just edit his videos for him while he was uh, waiting on a new hard drive and getting that all set up. And he liked that, he liked how I put together stuff and how it gave him a bunch of extra free time to, to do other things. So he decided to take me on as his dedicated editor. And from there I got referrals from his other friends and uh, you know, I've been doing freelance video editing, you know, pretty much ever since. And I've been really enjoying um, helping others, you know, see through to their vision, you know, whatever it is on YouTube. You know, I help clients like uh, like Eric Surf 6 for instance. Um, he has over 600,000 subscribers at this point, I believe. And, you know, I help him with his Eric Mealtime videos. And then uh, I also help out uh, my friend Brian from Ramen Adventures with his uh, traveling ramen videos and stuff. And, you know, each client, you know, I feel like I bring something new to each client. And, you know, I want them to find their own style and, you know, 
help in bringing their vision of what they want to do on YouTube into a reality. And, uh, you know, I really enjoy, you know, editing videos for others, honestly, a bit more than doing my own stuff. And plus, since I'm not out and about traveling or doing stuff out in the real world as much as I used to back when I was in the Navy, you know, I figure this is kind of a way for me to, you know, scratch that YouTube itch without, you know, making my own videos and worrying about, you know, oh, is my chin sticking out? Nah. Or just superficial stuff like that. So I've really been enjoying doing it and I want to make it uh, my full-time job and be able to, uh, you know, comfortably live off of it. You know, I'm not looking to, you know, make it big and make millions and stuff like that. I mean, that'd be awesome if it happened, but, you know, I just want to be able to do it full time and, you know, afford to exist, you know? So, um, that's, that's kind of my goal and I'm, you know, getting closer and closer to it every day, you know, with the more videos that I edit and the more referrals I get and stuff like that. So, uh, I feel like I'm going to get there very soon. So, in any event, I think I've, you know, rambled and raved long enough. And sugar's getting all kinds of antsy as I'm as I'm putting this, trying to, you know, do this little video. She's getting all kinds of antsy. She's like, Andy, play with me, play with me, play with me, Andy. <laughs> so, better end things here. So yeah, that said, this is the Andy song. Time for now. Oh, and this is Sugar. We're uh, she just turned a year old a couple days ago. Anyway, we're signing off for now. Uh, thank you, to you guys, for tuning in to this kind of rambly. Uh, I guess video response to Jade who just uh, got over 100,000 subscribers on YouTube so congrats Jade um, we live out here in uh, Wapak, Ohio just for some point of reference it's the hometown of Neil Armstrong first man on the moon um, so yeah <laughs> in any event uh, thank you guys for watching and as always we'll see you next time catch you later guys bye say bye sugar Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Tell Jade bye. Say bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs>